morning to you, everybody. Steve here from The Buried Life, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Saturn IV Ultra by Elegoo. And we've covered some of this information in the past um, when we found the owner's manual, manual or the user's manual. It had a number of interesting things that were pointed out. And it was kind of like, okay, well, is it going to be worth it? And uh, at that time, before it came out, we were seeing machines like the Uniformation GK2, which was uh, pretty expensive. Uh, matter of fact, let's see if we can pull that up and see how much that Uniformation GK2 from Uniformation GK through through.com or and let's see da, 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 da. and we want this in uh, why is it in korean seriously okay anyway uh it's really kind of interesting because what we're taking a look at here is the uniformation gk2 it's one million 172,001, why it's not changing to, of course now it's changed to, there we go. Okay, so it's $849. I don't know if you saw that, but it ends up it was $849. I don't want it. I want it in English. Okay, change. But anyway, it flashed on the screen, $849. Now, the Uniformation GK2, just as we look at the specifications, uh, build plate is good. Uh, doesn't have auto leveling. I don't think it has. And uh, large build area, 8K, which now that seems to be a, a thing of the past. The, the big thing is 12K. Uh, which is still, can you really tell the difference between an 8K and a 12K? Eh, uh, the good thing that it has is a built-in heating system. Yeah, it has a vent, flip-up cover, which is good. Quick release design for the VAT, which is, I think, key for whatever is coming up these days. But yeah, that's pretty much what we got for $850 or 1,172,849 dollars point seven three one korean won because i live in korea that's a lot of money to drop and so yeah they got their resident accessories but when we look at elegoo and we see what elegoo has done with the saturn 4 ultra yeah um quite surprising i mean there it is it is Obviously a beautiful looking machine. We can see that it's got a camera. It's got a build plate. It's self-leveling uh, It has a, a VAT Display screen uh, the resolution obviously it, it gets some mad awesome prints off of that and we can see that it's still got connections on the side seriously Elegoo really put the power in the USB in the front power connection and Wi-Fi in the back, please like every other electronic device in the world. Uh, but the great thing is, you know, we have the flip up cover and uh, again, it has a camera that can hook up and you can monitor your prints and then uh, uh, sensors and all this kind of cool stuff. A drip tray, which is really, really, I like that. I know some people were saying, you know, well, they need to put all this stuff, the connections on the side because resin will drip. Well, that's why they made the drip tray. So you don't need it. And again, every single other electrical appliance, monitor, computer, printer, microwave, radio, every everything, the power buttons on the front, connections on the front, power plug on the back. But when we look at this, $429. And that's not all. This thing also has uh, what they call here innovative tilt release technology. So what it ends up doing is the VAT sits there and then the VAT will kind of go down and peel. Here's your build plate. It goes down and then the light shines up through the screen and through the FEP or the film that is separating you know the resin that's in your vat and as the light goes up and through that film it solidifies and hardens it cures it and then that's one layer well the vat what it does is it goes down and peels away and then goes back up supposedly this knocks hours off of your print time which is pretty amazing 
10 inch 12K mono LCD screen, COB and Trenzel culminating lenses, auto leveling and intelligent mechanical sensor. Uh, it can sense that when there's something in the build plate or correction in the vat that it will stop and then has AI intelligent monitoring and power loss resume printing, which is something that FDM printers have had for a while. Mm, no, no heat, but Elegoo did come out with a plug-in heater that you can put into this thing or pretty much any other resin printer that you have. So yeah, it's, uh, there's the mini heater. It's $54. Um, you know, boom, there you go. Uh, self-leveling you don't have to level anymore and from what we've seen in some videos is that we have people that the only thing that they said set on the settings for the resin was the exposure times you know your bottom exposure and then your normal exposure times and that was it and they're getting awesome prints so it seems to be that the day the days of spending days at a time doing multiple prints, trying to dial in your machine are becoming a thing of the past. And the price for this is $429. So when we go back to the uniformation and their system, which is 800, you know, that thing was $850, which is a great machine, but that's half. The Saturn IV Ultra is half. Now, that is insane. Um, wow. And the resin, they got AK resin, ABS resin, water washable resin, uh, which is, eh, it's a, they're making some money on their resin. You know, you can still get third-party resin for $20 and $25, and you could probably use those. I know you can. But, yeah, with that pricing, before it ends up that, let me get back here, uh, the pricing that they had before, somebody had alluded, a number of people alluded, said, oh, that's just like the first hundred models or the first X amount of months, it'll be $429 or $399 plus shipping or whatever. And then it'll, it'll go up. Well, surprise, surprise, no, that's the price. <laughs> and I, it, it, wow, talk about crazy. That is a crazy price. So the tilt deck technology, which allows you to print faster, and they have a normal mode, and then they have a fast mode, and it's supposed to work with uh, Cheetah Box and uh, Lychee, or Lychee. Lychee is doing some upgrade to their slicer program so that it can work with theirs in the camera technology and so on and so forth. Uh, AI monitoring, man mechanical sensor in case there's anything in the bed, auto leveling, 12K, 10 inch. Um, yeah, it's cheap fast printing up to 150 millimeters an hour. You can switch between fast and slow print modes. Uh, details 12K, smoother surface, which I don't know, uh, self check and auto. Automatic leveling print right out of the box, and that's what we ended up seeing on some reviews on YouTube, uh, some reveals. Out of the box, boom, you put it in there and it prints. You know, basically, if you, and if you get your resin from Elegoo, you know, they have the recommended settings and you're up and running. No more of this, you know, printing out, you know, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, ten different test prints to try to find out if you're perfectly exposed, if you're overexposed, underexposed, if it fails. Uh, this is kind of huge. And there we have the camera for real-time monitoring and time-lapse photography. So this is really interesting because there's nothing worse than doing a resin print and then getting to a point where uh, the print has failed, but you can't see it until you take everything off and then you just lose a bunch of resin. So being able to detect that, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. User-friendly, uh, flip-up lid. It's got oversized screws for the that. I really wish they had something that would have a lever function instead of screws. I just don't like the screw thing. Uh, you know, the, the drip tray that you can put on there to protect the face of your, of your uh, Saturn IV Ultra and so on and so forth. Two different, uh, two different uh, pore spouts on your vat. And it still has the same, still has the same, uh, 
uh, volume uh, for the resin printer or for the bat itself of holding the resin, which I thought it should have been more Wi-Fi cluster printing. And so if you have multiple machines, you can do that. Self-developed system, touchscreen, yeah, that hasn't really changed my PFA release film. And compatible with the MarsMate, eh, saw reviews on that, wasn't too impressed. Classic and durable design. So, yeah, it ends up uh, a pretty impressive system. And, mm, yeah, it's, it is, it is impressive. And here's the thing, is that when we look at this system, and it ends up that it's $429 for this, this is... Before, I mean, I was under the assumption that this would be on the same price range as the Uniformation GK2 and some of the other uh, resin printers that came out and have a ton of features like this. Uh, and to see that the price was $429 for that, um, wow, that is, that is just insane. You know, uh, let's take a look at, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. Saturn IV Ultra, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is parts and pieces, English, US Globe, uh, pre-owned, we don't want that download. We want 3D printers, and to show you the Saturn Three. there's a Saturn and the Saturn III Ultra, and that's what I ended up having. And of course, now that price is four hundred twenty-nine dollars. <laughs> of course, I have to pay more because it's here in Korea, and there's value-added tax, so it was a significant amount of extra fees and costs and taxes and so on and so forth. <coughs> Excuse me, but currently that's four hundred twenty-nine dollars. This will eventually come down, but uh, yeah, let's take a look at the at the four, and we'll see what that looks like, because we haven't checked the price on that. So the Saturn Four is the new one. The Saturn Four Ultra is the big boy, and here we go. Oh, I like the color scheme. I like that. I wish I could get the green with the Saturn Four Ultra. I wish they had an option so that you could pick the color of your cover. So, yeah, $319. Now, I think the only difference between this and the 4 Ultra is that this doesn't have that tilting uh, VAT release system. Uh, we'll take a look at this here. Still got 12K, still has the same... Uh, Light source, flip up cover, advanced cooling, automatic leveling, mechanical sensor still has that, but it doesn't have the uh, tilt option. Uh, let's see what else we got. User friendly design, blah, blah, blah. Still has the same, same pour spouts, connections, all of that stuff is the same. And yeah, the, I think the only difference is, and I don't think there's a camera. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Let's see, can we see a camera? No, nope, we don't see a camera there. So, yeah, it ends up uh, that, that is a crazy wicked price for that. You can see a spot there for the camera, but the camera's not in there. So I think that's the only difference. There's the two main differences is that the Saturn IV doesn't have that tilt release. I mean, and the camera. Well, it's hard to tell. Maybe it does have the camera. It doesn't mention that as having the camera. Let's see what's in the box, and it will show us. So the build, plat, yeah, it doesn't have the camera. So, yeah, interesting, interesting. So with that, 429 minus 319, it's $110. So the difference between the 4 and the 4 Ultra is $119. <clears throat> is it worth $119? Uh, if it was me, 
And if I didn't have my Saturn III Ultra, I would go for the four Ultra just because it's not that much of a difference. I figure buy once, cry once, and then, you know, you just use it until it dies. But seriously, I thought that the Saturn IV Ultra would, would end up being around the seven $800 range. Uh, I, I definitely wouldn't have thought that it would be that, that inexpensive. That is crazy. So yeah, that's what we end up seeing here is uh, is the Saturn IV Ultra is definitely a contender. I mean, this is this is kind of huge. There are some things I still don't like about it. I wish there was a handle on the on the cover to get rid of all the fingerprints. I wish that all the connectors on the side over here that we see. You know, because it doesn't even have the Wi-Fi antenna sticking out. Wi-Fi antenna should be on the back. Power plug connector should be on the back. USB and power switch should be on the front. Because, you know, you can put it right there. It doesn't really matter because you have that drip tray. So there's no need to say, oh, well, resin's going to drip on it and ruin it. Um, yeah, but $429. I honestly thought this was going to be in the seven dollars $800 range, which is absolutely crazy. This, wow, yeah. The only thing it doesn't have is a, is a heater, but Elegoo is selling a heater now. And uh, what I would really like to see is a heated vat where it, the there's a heating element inside the vat and there's like magnetic electric connectors. So as soon as you put the vat down, it connects up and you would be able to heat the vat that way. But uh, yeah, this this is nice, crazy nice. Man, I bought, and this is what I was afraid of. This is this is what I was afraid of because when I bought the Saturn III <clears throat> Ultra, that was the top of the top, and I I paid more money. But I paid more money because I live in Korea. So with that aside, um, still to see the price of the Ford Ultra is is pretty incredible so hmm, 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 hmm. and it, and it prints faster so is it worth that extra 110 dollars between the four and the four ultra if i was in the market and i was going to get into 3d resin printing honestly because i would want something the buy once cry once i would go for the four ultra I would I would sell plasma, mow lawns, whatever it is to get that extra 110 bucks, you know, save my my allowance and my nickels and dimes in in the couch and the car, and I would get the four ultra because that is that is pretty impressive. That is pretty pretty impressive, and the reviews we've seen online from like a Uncle Jesse and Faux Hammer and uh, reading some other ones, it looks like this is. Man, this is a game changer, especially at the price that it's at. Um, I don't know what else you could do to improve upon this, except for those minor things that I talked about. I think everything after this, I mean, you could always add in a resin heater. You could always add in a, uh, a resin automatic fill feature, a drain feature that we see on some other resin printers. Uh, if you could have some aftermarket resin filling apparatus that you could buy separately and use with this, that would be awesome as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is, it It looks like it's, especially at that price point, this, is it worth it? I would say it's worth it. And it definitely has a lot more features. Um, especially when you look at the printing times. It has a regular mode and then it has a fast mode. In the fast mode, people are able to knock off, you know, two or three hours on prints, which is significant. You know, not that it's any big deal for the average DIY hobby person like myself doing little prints and, and you know, letting it print out. I, I don't really care that, you know, it takes six, seven, eight hours to do a print. Um, but for those that might have their own print farm, maybe that's a concern and maybe getting prints out faster would help your bottom line. It would help your workflow. It would help get product out the door faster. Uh, that is definitely a concern. But then again, on the other side of the coin, 
you have a bunch of hobbyists who don't want to sit around for 7, 8, 10, 11 hours to get a print. And this is an answer to that. So, especially since we're in the microwave immediate gratification generation that we're in today. But it also seems like the biggest improvement is, you know, you put in your bottom exposure time, your normal exposure time, maybe a few settings. Uh, nobody's gone into the settings to show exactly what it looks like on the computer when you hook it up to like Cheetah Box or Leechy or whatever. Leechy's still working on it to be compatible with this. But yeah, it's um, very, very interesting. Start, stop prints. I think you could do time lapse, view it, everything that you would want, and, and then some. So yeah, that's a good. See, there's the Wi Fi antenna, which should be in the back always. That is an impressive piece of kit. Uh, that is really, really nice. And I think the, one of the bigger things is that lift up lid. Because with the three ultra, you have to take the cover off and set it off to the side. And this, you just lift it up. I think Uncle Jesse, when I was watching his reveal and the, uh, talking about it, that the, the lift up lid goes back. And it, you only need like an extra eight inches, eight and a half inches in the back. So, again, it takes up some space, but not as much. And it's one size fits all and you're good to go. So, yeah, it, it wouldn't be hard to have multiple of these and do a print farm. And, yeah, at $429, good Lord. Shipping is calculated at uh, checkout, so depending on where you live. Yeah, that's, it's the thing. It is the thing. And now I will say I like the green cover on the 4 uh, versus the 4 Ultra. So there's that. But uh, yeah, that is that is that is nice. That is so nice. That is a great piece of machinery. And again, it's just, you know, you can get a little heater with that for another 50 bucks. Boom, you are good to go. And the resin isn't too bad. Uh, you know, purifier, you can get a couple of those. Standard resin, about 30 bucks. You know, 30 water washable, 30, 38 bucks. That's not too bad. But, yeah, with all that you're getting at that price point is is really, really good. That is just, I'm I'm really impressed with the price that they have on there for $429. So anyway, that's what we got going on. I thought that was really interesting. This makes me wonder what other companies are going to do because in slashing those prices to that price point of $429 or less, you know, $329 or $310 or whatever it was, that is going to upset the market. So you're going to have people that were sitting on the fence and they're going like, well, you know, I don't want to spend seven, $800 or $1,000 on a resin printer. And then this comes along with all of these features. Ease of use is definitely high. And that I would definitely buy it. I mean, I would definitely buy it. Even as it stands now, I I have my three Saturn three Ultra that I bought like six months ago. <clears throat> I'm gonna use it for a while, unfortunately, but I have this this pain in my heart that I, I am torn between because I really want to buy this, but I know that if I bought it, I probably wouldn't use my Saturn 312 uh, that much. And considering I had to pay a bunch of VAT tax and stuff for living overseas here in Korea, uh, man, but my allowance is like 500 bucks a month. So I don't know. That is tempting. That is really, really tempting. But as with anything else, uh, it'll be interesting to see some long-term reviews and get some more details as far as how it interacts with different slicing programs, probably Cheetah Box and Lychee at the same time. Uh, those seem to be the two big ones there. But the ease of use, self-leveling, all of that. Mm, power loss, resume printing. That's another big thing that they have on here. So in other words, there's nothing worse than having a multi-hour print and then you have a brownout or power goes out and then you lost your print. Now they incorporated the power loss resume. So when the power comes back on, 
The printer says, okay, had a little break. We're going to go back to printing and we're good to go, uh, which is amazing. That itself is, a, is amazing right there. And I know there's a lot of people in other countries where their power is not as reliable as some other countries just because of the country, the infrastructure, you know, or things going on in the world or whatever it is, you know, storms and brownouts and hot weather, all of that. Uh, this is a great added feature for people like that. And again, you throw on a heater and you are good to go, you know. So you're looking at, what was that, uh, $54, $55. So you're looking at maybe $500 if you buy a heater with this and you're, you're gold. You're definitely gold. So, yeah, there it is. There it is. So, anyway, that's what we got going on. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to let people know about the price. Again, it is $429. That is not a price for, you know, it's only going to be good for two or three months, or it's only good for the first thousand machines that we sell, and then it's going to get jacked up. That, that price is the price, which is half of what I expected it to be, which is insane. That really makes me want to possibly buy one. But I already have the Saturn III Ultra 12K. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe I could sell my three and then try to recoup, sell it at a discount. And then, oh, man, that is crazy. I don't know. Wow. Tempting. Very, very tempting. Anyway, so that's what we got going on. Uh, discount pricing is normal. It is not discount pricing. That is the normal pricing with all the different features. Uh, definitely more bells and whistles than the Saturn III Ultra. Is it worth it? I would definitely say. If you don't have a resin printer or you have an older model of Saturn or even the older models, it would definitely be worth buying. If you have a Saturn III Ultra, is it worth upgrading? since it only came out about, what, six months, a year maybe, uh, less than a year with the Saturn 312, uh, I, I don't know. It depends on your budget. It depends on how you feel and your priority. So if you buy something and it's like, ah, uh, if something new came out and it's no, no skin off your nose, it's like, ah, well, I'll just sell it, I'll give it away or donate it or whatever, and I'll buy the new one, and that's not a big deal for you then yeah, go ahead and do that. But if you're kind of like me and you're like, oh, I want to get my money's worth because I paid money. Again, I'm going to be 58 this year. So I kind of have that old school mentality. Buy it, use it for a number of years and then upgrade. I'm not part of that group that, you know, ooh, ooh, a new Apple Watch. I'm going to throw this one away and buy a new one every single year. Same thing with the iPhone. I mean, I think I the first iPhone I had was like the iPhone 6 Plus or 6S, whatever. And I kept that for years, and I'm talking many years. And then uh, I think we got, uh, yeah, the what, the 14 or 13 Pro. So, yeah, I used stuff over a long period of time until, you know, we brought our old phones into the iPhone store. It says, yeah, yeah, we want to get the uh, the new iPhone at the time. And they were, they were surprised that we still had such an old version which is absolutely crazy. Uh, so yeah, I'm cheap and easy sometimes, but I'm also high maintenance at the same time. So uh, yeah, that's what we got going on. So anyway, very, very interesting to see how this is going to play out in the resin printing world and how other companies are going to respond to this because we've seen a lot of improvements and usually those improvements bring along a high price tag and Elegoo is, is kind of shattering that dynamic. And so with this move at the low prices, I think they're setting themselves up for success, especially if it performs in the way that we've seen so far and it continues to perform admirably. Uh, with minimal user interface, you know, of leveling the bed and doing test prints and so on and so forth. It's just set it and forget it and go. Mm, wow. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see because <coughs> if you have the choice of some other company that is charging five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars for their resin printer, 
And then Elegoo with their Saturn IV Ultra says, well, look at all that we can do, and it's only $429. Unless you're a diehard fanboy of some special, you know, and a fanboy for no reason, a reasonable person, a logical person, a, a person with common sense would definitely jump at the Saturn IV Ultra. So, uh, yeah, it, this is going to be really, really interesting to see how this works out. So anyway, that's what we got going on. Uh, for those of you who are into resin printing, FDM printing, or if you're not, put your suggestions and comments down below. And how mind-blowing is that, that it's only the Saturn IV Ultra is $429, you know, minus shipping. I, like I said, I thought it was going to be double. So anyway, uh, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yeah, that's a crazy print.